On Tuesday, February 13th, dozens of students and family members gathered at the Orient Township Public Library for the unveiling of an exhibit of artwork inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Starting on January 15th, students from throughout the school district were challenged to come up with artwork, essays, and even a video conveying his message of love. So today, each of the schools um, in the district um, held a Martin Luther King contest. Our theme this year was Stick With Love. And then each school had winners for the artwork. Um, and we were able to partner with the library this year so that all of the kids could have their artwork on display for the whole month of February here at the library. So it's a wonderful partnership where the students all were able to share their creativity um, and their artwork and also um, share Martin Luther King's message of loving others. I talked to some of the students whose work will be on display at the library throughout the month of February. Um, well, I've just really always been inspired by Dr. King's. I wanted like the whole theme, stick with love, and so that's why I wrote these sticks have love because it's like a tree, and um, I just wanted to like make sure everybody in my class was included too. I think his message was that like always stick with love, like don't show hate. Tell me about your work. What what message did you want in your artwork? I wanted people to know that like the same thing Martin Luther King told us, like stick with love and the quote about stick with love, hate is too burden to bear. Tell me about the artwork behind you. Uh, Martin Luther King has a crown here, and right there is a heart, and it says, I love Martin Luther King, and it says, I have a dream, and there are both two hearts at the start and at the end, and there's someone help, helping someone and there's an American flag and there's a book because I love to read. I've been doing a lot of artwork and wanted to like to participate in a lot of art contests and stuff. What do you think his message to the world was? Um, like we should like work together and not judge people by they look. And tell me about what you learned about Martin Luther King. Um, he like was a person who was like trying to do his best, like to make people like be together, like the black and the white. Mm -hmm. And lots of people like didn't listen to him and like thought he was just being really silly. Mm -hmm. But he was actually trying to do something really important. Yeah. It, yeah. What do you think of his message? I think everybody should stick with love. I thought it was a really cool purpose for doing it, and I thought it would really like. It could get the word out because not a lot of people would just choose to do this on their own. So I thought this would motivate people, and I thought there was a, I thought there was a good meaning behind it. Tell me about your piece of artwork. What inspired it? What What's your message in the artwork? So it was really trying to bring us together, showing how it happened more than it now, because it was, it didn't just take a weekend to do it. It took years and it took a lot of people and a lot of work because people still don't and it takes a lot of effort to do that and to have the courage to do that so that's what inspired me to do it so you see i want to have like a message of basically um how black and white want to be together but um but the rules tore them apart and how Martin Luther King wanted to bring them together. What's your message in your artwork? Like this says could can change the world. And these are people supporting each other. What do you think you learned? I think he learned that even though you're different skin colors you could still be together. Do little persons, he do one person, and then he cuts, and then turn a lot of people together. And then, actually, and, and Spot and his just have drawn two people in the same place, like this. Yeah. And I have drawn that roof, and I have drawn the word like this, 
love because everyone has love inside the planet. And that's why you put on the break the heart on the top of the planet. Are you proud to see it here at the library? Yeah! <laughs> What message did you want to include in your artwork? Well, I know that Israel and Palestine were fighting when I made this, so um, I knew that I should draw a stick with love on it, and they, and this is just a picture of them loving each other, because I don't feel like there should be war. Did you know about Martin Luther King before you got involved with this? Yes. What do you think his message was to the world? that we should be friends with each other even with, even with our differences. I wanted to show that everyone was equal and being mean isn't really nice. It's not, it's not cool as people would see in this generation. What are some of the elements that make up your artwork? I printed articles from the timeline of Martin Luther King and I wanted to show that um, the work that was put behind the freedom that uh, we have now. So it says here that if I scan the QR code, I see a video. Tell me about your video. Um, uh, this video is a song that I sang. It's called One Little Candle. This song explains about like how like love is like a candle and you should let it shine. Why did you want to get involved in this, uh, this uh, art exhibit? Is it important to you? Well, I compete. I I've been I've been in the contest last year. And by the way, this song is about love, and this theme is about I still want to stick with love. And I thought, oh, maybe we sh I should sing this song, and Mar maybe Martin Luther King should like would like the song. You wrote an essay. Tell me about what made you want to go that route. It's just easier for me to write. Sometimes I can have more of an understanding of things when writing and it's an easier way to express my thoughts for me. Yeah. So tell me, what was the message of your essay? Uh, it was just about some of the benefits of holding love and the disadvantages of hatred, like how you could gain that love, how you could stop yourself from getting bared down by hatred. Well, my artwork is about um, how Martin Luther King was very important and kind and nice. What's the quote you have in the middle of heart there? Um, how you can do like anything you can and you have to keep on trying. That's awesome. How does it feel to see your work on display with all this other great artwork? I'm very happy and I feel very excited that it is because um, I'm really passionate about my, about my art. So. Tell me about your artwork. It's, it's about love and it's about um, Martin Luther King Jr. What's his message, do you think, to people? Stick with love. Okay. Tell me about your artwork. Um, mine is creative, and uh, I put a lot of effort into it. And um, that um, it's about Martin Luther King and um, his, spe his special um, speech. What message did you want in your artwork? Um, Stick with, stick with love. Mm -hmm. What do you think Martin Luther King's message to the world was? Um, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. If you wake up and you see your parents, you should give them a compliment so they feel like you care for them. If you're next to someone and you're about to say something mean, just stop and think and say something nice, like a compliment. Um, so my artwork, it basically ties all back into his heart because it's stick with love. The red on the side and in his tie basically represents you should stick with love. And the background has words that I think are most important from his I Have a Dream speech. I learned that his whole life he knew that he wasn't going to make it very far but his only goal was to make a big impact. It wasn't just to live a long life but he wanted to do as much as he can could before that was over. Again the exhibit will continue to be on display at the library throughout the end of February to celebrate Black History Month. For more information visit orionlibrary.org and check out their new and improved website. From the library, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.